Hello, everybody. And a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Prince William continue to honor a loved grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. The royal duo are walking behind the Queen's coffin during her processional from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall in London. Also attended other members of the royal family in the procession include King Charles III, Princess Anne, Prince Edward, and Prince Andrew. Queen Camilla, Kate Middleton, Princess Princess of Wales, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, and travel by car to Westminster Hall. Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby will lead a 20-minute service and the royal family will later depart by car. Prince Harry and Prince Andrew are wearing morning suit, after LMT Channel learned they was not given permission to wear their military uniform like the working royals in the family. Harry who stepped down as a senior royal in 2020 to move to California and start a new life with Meghan was not granted the same permission. The decision came as a surprise to some, seeing as Harry served in the British Army for 10 years and referred to the Queen as his commander-in-chief in his touching tribute to her. Harry wrote, Granny, while this final parting brings us great sadness, I am forever grateful for all of our first meetings from my earliest childhood memories with you, to meeting you for the first time as my commander-in-chief, to the first moment you met my darling wife and hugged your beloved great-grandchildren. I cherish these times shared with you and the many other special moments in between. You are already sorely missed, not just by us, but by the world over. And as it comes to first meetings, we now honor my father in his new role as King Charles III. We have some pictures of some of the people who paid their respects to the Queen. She's been a rock that's always been there. You know, politicians change, wars have happened, but the Queen has always been there. And it's the end of an era. It's really gone above and beyond. She really did hold up her oath of doing everything she could for this country. I'm so proud of her and she did an amazing job. Some photos from the funeral.
quick disclaimer. Everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinion based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. Elizabeth has reportedly had enough of Meghan and Harry's drama. Lawsuits, lies, and an alleged bullying scandal. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may have left the royal family, but they haven't stopped generating headlines and Queen Elizabeth might have finally had enough of all the drama. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have never seemed afraid to speak out and defend themselves against accusations, and that includes filing lawsuits. Prince Harry previously filed a lawsuit against the UK government over the matter of police protection for himself and his family on UK soil. Meghan and Harry also both sued newspaper The Mail on Sunday for libel. Prince Harry's suit was for false claims and Meghan's suit was about the publishing of a private letter. But the bullying scandal the Duke and Duchess found themselves in starting back in 2021 is one of the worst dramas for the couple so far and their willingness to speak out is perhaps why Queen Elizabeth is taking a step back from it all. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have divided opinions in the past few years. As reported by the Daily Mail, the Queen has made the decision to keep things more private regarding Harry and Meghan. After a bombshell was dropped in a Sunday Times article by former staff members for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they came under even more intense scrutiny. The article claimed the pair were, quote, outrageous bullies and inflicted emotional cruelty upon the members of their staff. The Duke and Duchess spoke out against the article in a statement saying, let's just call this what it is a calculated smear campaign based on misleading and harmful information. An investigation was launched by Buckingham Palace soon after the article was released. That inquiry has since concluded, but controversially, it's been announced that the findings of the investigation of the bullying claims will not be shared with the public. Elle revealed a source close to the couple said the pair were disappointed about the decision to keep the results of the investigation secret, perhaps fearing that the silence may paint them in a bad light. The pair are no strangers to backlash from the public. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are no strangers to controversy. Ever since they were first linked in 2016, the pair, especially Meghan Markle, have been subject to many claims and allegations about their character. They sat down for an interview with Oprah in 2021 to try and tell their side of the story but faced a lot of backlash for the claims that they made, making their relationship with the Queen and the rest of the royal family even more tense. The pair were most recently seen in public at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, where they attended a special Thanksgiving service in honor of the Queen. Though they were seated in the second tier of royalty, the Duke and Duchess could be seen walking down the aisle holding hands in a show of unity. They received mostly cheers, but also a few boos, as they were seated far from Harry's brother, Prince William. Who are the palace really protecting by burying the report? Although it's been suggested that the Queen is tired of all the drama surrounding Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, royal sources told the Sunday Times of London that the bullying report was buried in an effort to stop the relationship between the Sussexes and the rest of the family from suffering any further damage. Likewise, the participants' privacy is understandably also a key concern. However, according to royal expert Jack Royston, there might be more cynical reasons not to release the report. While speaking on Newsweek's The Royal Report podcast, Royston argued that the repercussions for senior royals would be catastrophic if the results of the investigation were made public. He described the situation by saying, I think basically if that report were published it would be a complete bloodbath on all sides and nobody would come out of it looking any good at all. As Royston pointed out, the alleged bullying took place during a chaotic time at Kensington Palace when tensions were high. When you have a situation in a company or an institution where there's a toxic culture that developed, you get things being done on all sides by everybody because it's a product of the toxic culture. And I think this is partly the reason the palace wants to keep it quiet. He noted. In other words, the Queen may indeed be sick of dealing with Meghan and Harry, but the beloved monarch could likely be covering her own back in the process too. Oh, stop.
Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to LMT channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.